All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Jasu stream for March the 3rd. Uh, yeah, we left the intro on just a little bit longer than usual there to get, give everyone a chance to get on in here if anyone's interested in seeing the big finale of Shining Force 3, which is uh, the plan for tonight's stream as advertised. Uh, no sleep until we're done the game here. I don't expect that this is actually going to take us particularly late. I've got like a good four hours till my usual bedtime, and we got about, I think, three or four fights left, if I've been correctly informed. So, I don't know. Maybe it takes us that long, maybe it takes us a bit longer, but uh, one way or the other, we are finishing the game tonight. So, uh, let's just get right into it then. This being the final, the final stream, I just thought I, I thought I would let the title screen music play out there. Oh, perfect timing! Some kind of vehicle-related bullshit uh, going on out there. It sounds like. Don't know if that's picking up on the microphone or not. What the fuck! It sounds like they're drilling out there. Sorry. One second, I'm just curious. I cannot help but go check this out. Oh. Of course, it's the, it's the snow removal crew, isn't it? That's what's going on out there. Perfect timing. That was literally not going on until... Uh, yeah, just a few seconds ago, when I started streaming. Man, whether it, whether whether it's the ISP or whether it's the freaking snow remo removal crews, this city just seems determined to ruin my streams. Uh, that's fine. Oh yes, uh, yeah. Speaking of which, uh, yeah, we were actually right in the middle of a big battle. With, with, like, some crazy tactical genius Shota kid or something. I'm a little bit disappointed that they don't have a unique sprite for this guy, or the previous boss, for that matter. Which is weird, because the other guy did have a unique sprite, and then they got rid of it for the combat, for the, for the battle. He donned his helmet, and he became a generic sword guy. Um, anyways... This guy... Fuck me, it's getting worse. Oh well, gotta deal with it. Like I said, one way or the other, no matter what, uh, we're getting this game done tonight. You know what, I might as well put her... I might as well just... Oh, you can't hear it at all? That's good. There's like a snow removal cruise outside, and their, yeah, bulldozers are really noisy. I guess it's mostly vibrations in the floor, so I guess it's not... Maybe not picking up through the desk. Anyways, if, it, if it's not an issue for you guys listening at home, then I'll stop complaining about it. Oh yeah, we, we, we need to like get our bearings here. Does anyone, is anyone in need of healing here? Also, did anyone die last time? Oh shit, Hagane needs it. Wolf Baron needs it, but nobody's in position. Um, I... I've done this fight rather poorly, I think. Okay, that's fine. She can go here. Well, Oh yeah, that's right. Bow Knight is sleeping now. Who else did we get with that? Yeah, we really need to get our bearings here. I do not remember... Uh, yeah, exactly what was going on last time around. Oh, hey there, Mace Whale. It's, it's weird, it's... Man, I keep going back and forth on Restream Chat. I really dislike how it doesn't have the, uh... Like, the different colors for the different users. But, uh, we'll just roll with it. I'll just try it. It'll help me remember your names, anyways. 
Right. That's what. Right. That's where we left off. Yeah, the sleep was awesome. Uh, we got. I think we got the mage too. We didn't get the griffin, but we got. No, we didn't. We didn't get anyone. We just got the bow knight. No, we got the griffin. And then the mage came in and nuked us, and now it's Sybil's turn. We're not. We're not in any hurry to go in on this uh, sleeping centaur and griffin here. So I think we will just uh, maybe start moving up. Oh, that's no good. Uh, that's really no good. You know what? We kind of got it. <laughs> as much as it's not important to kill him before he wakes up or anything, we, I actually do want to get him out of the way so that we can get to work on that mage over there. So I think we are actually going to kill it anyways, which means that was kind of a waste of... Prepare to die. Waste of a sleep. I guess the sleep's already kind of done its job since that griffin missed a turn waking up there. Oh, you know what we also got to do at some point is, uh... Oh, no! What? Oh, because he's a sword guy. Oh, this sucks. So Birdman's weak to bows for being a birdman, and he's also weak to lances for being a sword guy. Thankfully, they're spreading the damage out like a bunch of idiots. There's our tactical genius at work commanding the enemy forces once again. Oh, no. Actually, for all my shit talk just there, this is actually uh, his strategy paying off right here. The way he moved in his uh, forces into the center and sort of consolidated them all in one place was actually a good move. So now they all get to go on us. Oh, and he's just gonna sit there. Oh, he has fucking magic. Oh, I wonder if he has the Phoenix Sword. Ouch! Ah, uh, so that's fucked up that he can do that. That's an AoE, too. Although he didn't actually use it on anyone else, so that's lucky. Ah, uh, Hagenay could go down here if this is a crit. Or even if it's not. Fuck. This is fucking garbage. They do so much damage! Okay, thankfully he's still asleep. I think... Okay, we're gonna move him back so that he's in range to get healed. Like, I don't, I don't think we can prioritize our targets or anything. And then the except then the mages are gonna get to go. And then we're just fucked again. Is Masquerin even still alive? I don't remember what was going on. I don't see her anywhere. There she is. If she gets a turn right away, well, that'll be lucky, but... Uh... Okay, they've got flyers. Yeah, there's not really much we can do but pick away at the closest guy. The enemies are really grouped up, so yes, Masquerin is kind of our saving grace here. The problem is, I have no idea when her turn is coming up. Uh, we don't have a good uh, AoE. I guess we can do it like this. That gets us uh, Wolf Bro and Symbios both at once. I guess the other option... Oh, we don't even know Blaze 2. Yeah, I think we gotta do it like this. Yeah, all the guys who needed healing are dead now, so, uh... I think if we get, uh... Wolfbro and Symbios, then we're solid. Alright. Ratchet. Oh, he's got the strength here. We're gonna go for maximum damage. It's a waste to get our, to use our weapon advantage. Yeah, for nine damage. Ooh, he's gonna have the type advantage too, which means we might... Yeah, we're gonna move him up, and I think he'll be able to finish off that other guy that we just hit. They got a lot of cavalry on this map. 
Like, this is kind of ridiculous. We're outnumbered, like, three to one. Or, you know, we were before. Okay, that's juicy. That's some juicy shit right there. I don't even care if she dies. This will greatly even the odds for us. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> now, now there is no cavalry left. Someone explain this. Shining Force experts in the audience here, fucking explain this shit right now. This thing was doing 88 damage before. What the hell happened? They must have some kind of crazy elemental resistance, except I can't check their elemental resistance. Um, okay, so Mascarin's dying for nothing here. Oh, right. That could be it. That could be it. That would make sense, too, because that's the way it works in Final Fantasy, and this game incorporates a lot of elements from Final Fantasy and uh, Dragon's Quest and those kinds of traditional JRPGs. Okay, we're gonna get- yeah, I think there's no way to save Eldar here. We'll just have her kill something before she goes down. There's a reasonable chance we might have to redo this fight. Yep, this is gonna wreck us. That's actually not bad at all. Ratchet maybe goes down here, but that's it. I think our only hope is to charge in with Symbios. Or actually, you know what? Even better than charging in. I know what we do with Symbios. Or have we done this already? Oh no, he's still at full MP. This is the perfect... Oh, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six targets. Bring it. Rain thunder. Every time I get him to cast this, I forget that he said that he does that when you cast it. Okay, so that evens the odds a fair bit. Problem is, we're still outnumbered and we didn't get to kill anything. Uh, we could heal Ratchet, but it's probably not worth it, um, I think. Actually, does she know uh, Tornado? Hey! Yeah, these guys are all weakened, too. Mind you. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going for it. I don't think she's actually going to kill him, because I don't think this does enough damage. But this just guarantees that whatever we do to these guys next, they'll die. Oh, she's almost got it, too. Oh, if we just had the one level earlier, a Tornado 3 would have probably done it. Uh, we absolutely need to, uh, to get this mage before she goes again. Oh, I don't know if we can do 34 damage, though. Yeah, I think what we actually need to do here is uh, spread out and get targets off the board. Oh yeah, hi, Vazel. I never did say hi, did I? Or it's... I yeah, I guess I was considering announcing on Twitter that, hey, the finale's tonight, but I forgot because it was busy at work. And then I left the intro going a bit longer than usual before the stream, uh, just because I wanted to give people a chance to get in here if they really want to see uh, the end of this game. Uh, so that's not great.
Yeah, I don't know what the fuck we do about this. Maybe it is a damage spreading thing. Maybe he's deliberately targeting one person with that spell to get maximum damage. Yeah, I'll do all three scenarios for sure. I just uh, don't know. We're definitely not doing them right away. I'll do something else for like a stream or two and then we'll go into scenario two. Is this gonna take her out in one shot? I think I actually have to egress here. At this rate, we're losing this. All right, I, I kind of had two ideas and thinking back on it, um, I think we can do both of them. Because, yeah, I was thinking maybe we do Super Mario Bros. 2, and I get that kind of off my long-ass backlog, because I never beat that game as a kid. And then the other idea was to uh, do kind of a playthrough slash exhibition of the Parodius series. And I can probably do both in, uh, in one stream. So I think maybe we'll do that. Oh, wow, that was closer than I thought it would be. Oh, I should have healed Masquerin. That was a big mistake. Uh, maybe she'll be alright. Um, I think we go for the Harpy here. Oh, wait, Harpy took a turn already? Actually, I think we go for one of the Griffins then. Gotta be mindful of the Mages as well. Or actually, maybe we go for the Mage. No, we don't want to be grouped up. We'll go for the Harpy. Maximum damage. This should kill him. Oh, wow. Okay, the things we know for next time. Ooh, Angel Wing. That'll help us uh, get the hell out of here. I desperately need to fucking crit right here. Yes! It's still not enough. Holy shit, that's a tanky mage. Okay, Ratchet, please, finish this. Oh great, now we get the crit. At least he doesn't miss. Honestly, it was like this in uh, Shining Force 2, also. Like, uh, ma mages were just... Like, the mages would gain defense as well as regular enemies did. Like, basically, whatever enemy is the newest, that's the one with the highest stats in every category. Regardless of what type of enemy it is. Actually, are there any... Lancers? Yeah, we gotta get rid of this guy. It's just a free-for-all now. Uh, now they're all spread out. I don't know if this is worth it. Oh, you know what? If they're spread out, then uh, we can do Bolt. Actually, they're even too spread out for Bolt. Holy crap. Oh, you know what? Uh, Spark keeps him back, a keeps her back a little bit. So if we do it this way, at least we'll have to charge forward a long way to hit us. Yeah, I think that's the way we do it. I don't want to experiment with Wendigo. We're kind of making the assumption that it splits its damage, but I don't know that for sure. And what I do know for sure is that, uh, yeah, Bolt does a fuck ton of damage and has a big AoE. So yeah, we're doing that. Um, so I really need a crit from Symbios here. Actually, you know what we could do? This is really dumb. This keeps them all the way from the, from the healers, too. But, uh, you know, it's fine. We're gonna get a crit and eat this guy's soul, and everything will be great. Or do we do a bolt one? I think we're gonna keep him back, and, uh, yeah, let's not be stupid. We could still win this. The enemies are starting to go down. We kind of have a numbers advantage here. So yeah, I think we'll do it like this. Actually, how, how damaged are these guys? We'll go... Oh no, we can't do Bolt 2 though, so yeah, we'll do it like this. 
And let's see the crit! Okay, so we don't get Kurt. Oh yeah, you know what? He's got the illusion status, that's right. Uh, so I think this kills Ratchet. Oh, this is a bloody one. I need to keep an eye out for the ruins, too. If the ruins on, are on this map, then I've kind of messed that up already. We got the map, but I haven't seen the ruins yet. Um, okay, we need to take away enemy activations. Uh, so I think we'll go on Bow Guy here. Oh, you know what? The Griffins haven't gone in a while. Maybe we start on them. Also... Actually, I think we'll go on this guy. We can guarantee the kill, and I think he's due for a turn right away. Get ready. Always with the crits, when we only need, like, six damage. Uh, he should be fine from this. Yeah, it seems like even the enemy flyers are terrible. That's weird. Is that like the magic spell tornado, or is that, or is that like a like, attack skill tornado? Uh, okay. I think we're dead. He actually decided to move his fat ass, finally. Okay. I mean, we were basically one-shotted there. Is this the end? Yeah, apparently this is the end. Uh, that's a stupid fight. Fuck me, how much, how much money did we lose on that? Okay, so we lost about, about 16,000 gold and we're about to lose a bunch more because we lost, like, more than half of our party. I don't even know what we do differently on that fight either. Like, you, get, you can get a good start by working along the sides and kind of picking them off one by one, but once he decides to crowd into the center, it's like you charge him, and then he gets 12 turns in a row and half your party's dead, and he's got bullshit magic that one-shots anyone. I don't even know that we're going to have enough left for a new Mithril item after this. Man, we got really, really lucky with uh, Symbios' curse, too. I don't think he got cursed once when we really needed him to do something. Uh, definitely can't afford that now. Yeah, for, honestly, with, with this many enemies... Like, I got, I got kind of blinded by greed there. I was expecting the Wendigo to do 80 damage again. I think the Spark still would have been the better move there. There's so many enemies, we could have hit more targets with Spark too. I think, in fact, I think that whole fight would have gone entirely differently if we'd have done Spark 2 instead of Wendigo that one turn. Uh, so we do have money left over, although I don't... I don't know who we want to use it on. So Symbios has got his Dark Matter Sword. Could try to replace his, uh, his Lance here. Oh, he's got, uh, we've got some crappy equipment to sell, too. Not only would, he, would we have hit more targets, we'd have done twice as much damage to those, uh, those cavalry units, too. Like, they would all be dead a turn sooner. Maybe that's what we do. Maybe we should open... If he wants to bring his forces together like that, we should open up with the magic and uh, charge forward with the mage first. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, Battle Spear was the crappy one. Okay, so we got... Actually, yeah, it's, it's, it's the small Mithril that we're out of right now. We've got a decent amount of the large Mithril. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone has uh, Mithril equipment now. There is no reason to use this stuff for anyone. Okay. Okay, here's what we do. I'm gonna save scum it a little bit, and we're just gonna check and see if there's, uh, if you can get different things from the uh, Mithril Man or not. I'm not gonna buy it outright, but if it has a good effect, I might grab that. Steel Tiara, 7 defense. Regen MP! Um, okay, that's good. Oh, that gets her defense, too? Okay, Grace, we want to keep with that uh, thing she's got. What do I even... Th doesn't Masquerin have an MP regeneration ring already? Now that I think of it? Or something like that? Or no, she can use it, I think, to regenerate MP, but it doesn't, uh... God damn it. Oh, I gotta shift stuff around so people have open slots again. Actually, it, this could actually be handy, because I was thinking of teleporting out of the fight last time. I guess we'll just give it to Bird Knight, because she's got open inventory slots. And he can get rid of probably Antidote Herb. Good enough. I was looking over the recording from... Uh, the last stream I did of this game, and yeah, I literally spent an hour and a half messing around with the frickin' Mithril shop. All in one go, not even, like, cumulative. Like, all at once. We spent 90 minutes on the fucking Mithril shop. Oh, and of course, the whole reason we did all of that inventory stuff was to double-check the effect of Mascarin's ring. Uh, Elemental Resist. Yeah, regenerates MP if used. I think I prefer the passive MP regeneration. The question is, who do we give this to? So yeah, I will buy this for her, but the question is, who do we give the magic ring to? Because I think I still like the, the movement on Grace better. You know, Critical Ten's pretty good too. We might want this one. Honestly, I think that these are better than the Mithril stuff we could potentially roll. This gets her a bunch of bonus defense too, which she actually likes. Okay, so he loses agility, which we don't really care about. Okay, let's check what he actually has on now. And if it doesn't... Unless it gives something... Worse than crit 10. I think we'll, uh... We'll give that to him. He's got a Gale Ring. Oh, wow, it's literally just five agility. Yeah, that's garbage. Oh, legalize... or no. 
gifted a sub to Maze Whale. Holy damn, thank you for that. Ma Maze Whale, thank the man. <laughs> and yes, thank you. <laughs> man, I really gotta get, uh, get an actual proper emote now. Uh, for subscribers. I've actually noticed that I can gift people... Oh yeah, no, oh shit, uh, apparently, oh, legalized freedom followed, apparently, while I, like, within, I guess a day ago, so while I was actually not streaming, he must have found the channel, and, uh, followed, so that's cool. So, belated thanks to legalized freedom for the follow, and yes, thank you, Vasil, for the sub gift. So, I, I noticed in my dashboard, I can gift subs to people, but I don't know if it's free. I haven't actually clicked the button to see if I have to pay to gift people subs to my own channel. Because <laughs> honestly, if I could just give them away for free, I, I, I might. I'd, yeah, that would be weird if you could just... That, Twitch wouldn't allow that. That would break the system, I think. Yeah, I think I am going to get this... Uh, get this dark helmet to Hagane. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, you know what? Uh, we can just sell our old ring anyways, because nobody wants that agility ring. It's just garbage. Agility is a useless stat, as far as I'm aware. Holy crap, just throwing money at me. I feel... I feel bad. I, don't, I feel like I don't deserve this. <laughs> but thank you anyways. <laughs> I don't I don't know. It, it may you know having the, the the cheer the cheering me on might help me do better in this last fight in this next fight. So Okay. I'm I'm literally a prof I'm literally a professional streamer now. So let's stop fucking around and actually win this thing. Although with with that said, if, if I have enough money at the end of all this in-game money, I will literally continue fucking around with the Mithril Shop. It doesn't look like I will, though. 8,000 isn't enough for anything. Oh, you know what it might be enough for, though? Because, uh, like, throwing spears were only 5,000, so I could get... Oh, we could get a new shuriken. That's actually maybe not a bad investment. Because, yeah, our current shuriken is hot garbage. I think I'm actually going to do that. Yeah, we're going to get a new shuriken for Hagane. Actually, even apart from sub emotes, yeah, I need to get on those other animations too. All the more reason to do a Parodius playthrough, because yeah, the, the little penguin bow, I kind of ripped and animated that myself from, uh, I think, Parodius 3. And so I want to do a playthrough of the Parodius games to get the video footage to rip other GIFs. Honestly, the, <laughs> the bowing penguin would work too, because bowing is like a Japanese greeting, except it's not animated, and I don't know if there's a frame of that animation that, uh... Yeah, I like the emotes to be practical, not like stupid, like hype, super specific, or in-jokey type stuff. I would like something that's generally useful. Like something that people might conceivably use outside of the stream. I think I'm gonna get rid of Ratchet. I don't know, he's considered like an axe man. And there's a billion Lancers on this next map, so I guess we'll keep him in for now, but he is next on the chopping block if we get another character, I think. You know, Hawaiian shirt and emote wouldn't be a bad one, now that I think of it. And then it, as far as general usefulness, it would be like, I don't know. So, sort of like, like a margarita type, type emote to indicate like party times or vacation or whatever. Okay, let's see. We do have... Yeah, we got the large mithril right here. Oh yeah, we still need to decide what to do with that magic ring, too. 
Now we can just barely afford it. I actually, I, I don't know what FFZ is, to be honest. <laughs> FFZ emotes? Yeah, I, I don't actually know what that is. Holy shit, is that... Or, that's, no, that's barely better than his current shuriken. That's terrible. It had better have some kind of crazy extra effect. I mean, I guess we didn't pay that much for it. Spark resist and a special attack. Franker faces? I don't actually know what that is. Oh, custom emotes? How does that work? So, it's for other people to see it, do they need to have this thing installed too? Because I don't like that idea. Where it's like other people won't be able to see the emotes unless they've got this third party thing installed. I did not even I did not even know until just now that there was a desktop version of Twitch. Oh, that's interesting. Less memory use. You know, I, I might actually look into that, because, yeah, I, I, I watch Twitch all the time. And, like, while I'm playing video games, too, I'll be watching Twitch. So, actually, less, uh, less memory usage would be kind of handy. Although, I don't know, I've never encountered any problems just watching it in the browser. Uh, we came here to sell... Actually, and also, while I'm here, let's, uh, let's decide what to do with this magic ring. I might just sell it. Like, I, do, I don't think, uh... I don't think anyone else really has a use for it, and I don't... Who else actually had, uh... Has MP that they want to restore? Elemental resist, I guess, is not bad. Oh, it doesn't actually give you any stats either. Yeah, I think we just get rid of this. Uh, yeah. That's just crap. Oh, they got shop accessories too. And they're garbage. So when she makes that this is quite rare comment, does that mean it's going to show up in deals? Oh cool, so if we decide we like it then we can just buy it back for... And she, yeah, she's, she took it for like, what, twenty two fifty, So she buys it for like more than half of what it's worth. So much for my theory that we uh, weren't gonna go end up going late because I, I kind of I kind of estimate the time in this game as being a little over an hour per battle, and I, I believe we've got four battles left uh, before the end of the game. And I sort of considered us as being halfway through the first battle, but now we've got to completely redo the thing, and I'm not even confident that we're gonna win it the second time. So. Uh, we might actually be, uh... Um, I don't have board games this evening. 
or in fact, I, I had work today, so if I did have board games in the evening, I would be uh, not streaming. But no, I've got nothing tonight, uh, so we're that's why we're going late. I'm uh, streaming until we finish the game. I do have work tomorrow, so if things go too crazy late, I mean, I'll still finish the game, because that's what I said we'd do, but I will have a bad time at work tomorrow. <laughs> Although I do have, so the reason why I'm so dead set on finishing the game today is just I don't want to, I don't want the long delay to like leave everyone hanging for like a week since the last stream. It's like we were kind of on the verge of completion at the end of the last stream. And yeah, I just don't want to leave this game for a week and forget about it or whatever. We're kind of in the groove, so I want to keep going with it. And tomorrow I've got, uh, I've actually got an RPG session in the evening, and then Tuesday I work in the evening as well, all day pretty much, and into the evening. So the next time I'm going to get to stream after this is uh, is Wednesday, and I didn't want to wait till Wednesday to finish this game. Also, Wednesday is kind of a limited time stream as well. Because Wednesday I stream from noon until work, so if I didn't get the game done before work, then it would go into the next stream. I am fucking busy lately. It's weird. Like, work work isn't crazy busy. I've got, you know, it, it's a pretty lax job. It's mainly just boring a lot of the time. And so I have I can stream in the evening pretty much any day, any day of the week other than uh, Wednesday, except I got board game night on Friday, uh, card game night on Thursday, and sometimes RPG nights on Mondays. So I'm running out of evenings that I can actually stream, and it never used to be like that. It used to be that my schedule, other than work, my schedule was just free every day. What if we just run up the middle? I keep trying to be smart about uh, what angle of attack we go from, but I keep getting fucked over by enemies repositioning or teleporting in out of nowhere. Also, let's let's count this bullshit too. So it's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, ten, two, four, six, eight. I think this is nineteen enemies to our twelve. So yeah, we are outnumbered. Basically two to one. I'm gonna regret this, but if enough of them run, rush forward on her, we're actually fine. Okay, this this will be an experiment, and if this backfires horribly on us, then I'll just uh, just egress out. Oh, whoops, that's not where I wanted to put her. Okay, it's fine. They're not moving up anyways. I wanted to go one space behind that. So what I'm going to try to do here is get Maskerin, like, right in the center and bolt a bunch of these guys. Or Spark 2. I mean, I can't say that stupid real life sucks because, like, half of the days of the week that I'm busy, it's for real life games. For meat space games, they call them. I mean, I guess work is a bit of an impediment. If I didn't have to work, I'd just stream, like, all day, every day of the week. Uh... Yeah, we really can't be guaranteed that Symbios uh, heals himself with that Soul Eater, so we might as well heal him. Am I overcomplicating this? Maybe we can just rush for the center and take out the boss all at once. Like, I can't believe that idiot just charged forward. I can't believe that this idiot just charged forward. I think we're... Oh, she's just out of range. Never mind. 
What? He did 56 damage last time. Boo. Oh, actually, yeah, Blaze 4 is a good idea. We haven't actually cast uh, Blaze 4 yet. So I'm a little hesitant. It's like, how much damage is it actually going to do? Yeah, these... I don't know what it is with these dumb emotes. Not a fan. Ugh. I think we just have her stay put for now. Yeah, good move, good move. Oh, I get it. They go together. That is dumb because it, yeah, interferes with regular conversations. It is a pretty common word in a stream conversation, but, uh, okay. Both of those emakes, em emotes make a lot more sense now. Wait a second, I'm curious now. <laughs> there it is! We, we did it! We completed the puzzle! <laughs> Okay, that's kind of funny now. That almost, that's almost worth the whole stupid mess we've been having with that dumb emote getting in the way. <laughs> like, I don't know, do we just sit here and stare at each other until one of them rushes forward? Yeah, I don't know why it only does it in Twitch chat. Unless it- maybe it's some other, like, obscure third-party extension that no one uses that they just automatically include for the restream chat. I did all kinds of searching online, too, for, like, uh... Or actually, now that I- now that I know the full thing, because I was looking for like, capital I, it, emote on Twitch. Like, doing Google searches for that. Oh, wow, we're taking a lot less damage from the Spearman now. Now that I know the full emote, I might, it might be easier for me to find uh, where it actually comes from. What the hell are these guys doing? Like, they're just rushing forward one at a time to fucking die. You know what, I think I am going to keep her on this front here, and I'm going to let Irene go in for the heals this time. Yeah, once again, Symbios is the only one juicy enough to bait them out, so maybe we can just do it this way. Just move Symbios forward a little bit at a time. And just bait them out, actually, one by one. Holy shit. Two, three, four. Oh yeah, that's right, we figured this out last time. Oh, this is getting this is getting a little bit dicey. Actually, let's put him over here. Then he's in range of fewer enemies. Am I the one getting baited here? Is this- is all of this just a big mistake? Eh, kills to Obright is fine. Man, we lost a lot of friendship points in that last fight, too. Like, more than half the party died there.
Yeah, I'll move her forward one space. He can stay put. He has tons of movement. He'll be able to get wherever we need him. Um, she... You know what? Let's keep him here. See if anyone goes for him. Oh, also, Irene knows uh, Tornado 3 now. This is actually going way better. Way better than last... Or, mind you, last time, actually, we got a decent ways into the fight before things took a wrong turn. But, uh... Like, yeah, we're about to take out one of the mages. I don't think we got the mage, and either we got one of the mages last time, but only after he wrecked our entire party. Uh, I don't want to move him into the bow guy. Nah, we'll leave him for someone else. Oh wow, Hagenai can get right up there. Oh, he's got that shuriken too. Holy shit. Oh, good stuff. Okay, not that good. Oh, pretty good. Oh, is that what special attack means in the item description? That it does, uh, like, status effects? Okay, they're coming for us. Now the brawl begins. We might actually want to fall back a little bit here. If we can pull all of these guys out and not get fucked over by the boss's phoenix spell, then we might have a decent shot here. Yeah, we've actually got his forces split right in half. We're tanking a few hits here. But the damage is spread out across several units. In fact, I think we've got a nice juicy aura coming up right away. Yeah, these guys right here are all bundled together, so uh, yeah, aura will fix all them right up. Oh, speak of the devil. Uh, ooh, can we do this? Uh, who's the good target for this? Okay, Hagane needs it. Obright needs it. I think this is the one. Oh, we got a few options here. Basically, no matter how we do it, two people get left out. We've got, like, a little line of people. Frank, Sybil, Symbios, Obright, and Hagane all need healing. We can get any three of them. Oh, Irene needs it, too. In that case, maybe we put it here. Frank's in a bit of danger. Hagane's in a bit of danger. We actually avoid healing our most uh, damaged guys here, which kind of sucks, but... This gets the most targets. Might even try to get someone to use an item. Some tra trash bin where everyone can store something they don't want. You know, I've actually got a bunch of, uh, like, uh, Steam codes for games that I either already own or don't intend to play. I thought I might uh, do, like, giveaways on stream here at some point. Although, Frank, honestly, most of the games that... Most of those games that I have codes for actually all suck. Let's pull him back a bit uh, so that he doesn't get beat on too badly. Actually, this is what we want to do. Those guys all cluster together up at the front. We can take them out with magic. So, yeah, we want our... Oof. 
our punchy boys to take out these guys who are split off from the group. Yeah, those guys are just dead to magic right away. We done. Oh shit, Obright. Um, once again, I think we're going to maximize his damage by, yeah, getting him on the healthy Silver Knight. Doesn't he do 32 damage without the crit? Okay, there we go. This is, this is what I'm talking about. Now, the question is, how far can we get? Ooh. That is genius. Yeah, let's do it. Um, I've actually got a bunch of them. Uh, I don't think it's anything really good. Or did I have it in like a notepad or something? Game chugging along here while I open up notepad. Oh, well, yeah, I actually have them all listed out. Um, we've got... I don't even know what most of these games are. I got Abzu, Blazblue, Dirt 3, Ethereum, Ethereum. Oh, apparently I got Resident Evil 6. Armello. Yeah, a bunch of stuff. Oh, I've got an extra Odalis key also. Uh, Rayman Origins key for you play. Tomb Raider, although I don't know which one. Volgar the Fi Viking, Westerado. XCOM UFO Defense. I've actually got some good stuff on here. Uh, yeah, Blaze Blue's, Blue's a good game. Or I, I, I'm not. I'm in no position to say whether it's a good game or not, actually. I am not a fighting game guy whatsoever. I think I played the second one. Actually, those guys are probably going to die to magic right away also. We'll do this one. He's done now. Uh-oh. That's actually fine. I don't think anyone who's been uh, damaged. It'll suck if Grace dies somehow after this. Yeah, I actually have better stuff uh, in the old Steam Key list than I thought I would. Ooh, uh, uh, is it early for this? Whoops. I think I might want to save his bolt. Or, you know what, we'll let fate decide. Because this is a decent bolt. Well, there's a decent... He could get be cursed anyways. Yeah, let's just, just let fate decide. If he gets cursed, then it wasn't meant Rain to be. Thunder. Ooh. Ooh. Awesome. Surprised we only got one kill out of that. Okay, Irene definitely needs to heal someone. The question is who? I think it's got to be Hagane. And then after this round, the, both of their uh, mages are going to be dead. Uh, we'll try to... Yeah, keep her back a little bit. We'll get someone healthy to charge forward and finish off the mage. Ooh, someone like Eldar, the bird knight. Oh well, yeah, all the enemy archers are taken out now, so yeah, this is perfect timing here. I was hoping for a little bit more damage than that. Oh hey, Hagony's healthy, so yeah, we can... Mm. 
Oh wait, he's got the shuriken, so yeah, putting him back here is fine. In fact, we can get him back even farther. Yeah, I kind of expected that. You know, what I, what I think we actually... Oh, this could be really bad. Oh, fuck! Oh, that sucks. That really fucking sucks. I was counting on getting my guys to move forward and body block for her. Like, it's not a complete disaster, but still... That also really fucking sucks. I was counting on him to get that kill there. Man, for the first time in a long time, it feels like all of our guys just suck. I think Frank's gotta go for this kill. We cannot let that guy get another turn. Hooray, we're getting all these friendship levels that are all going to go away right away when everyone dies. Ooh, this is a new one. Okay, good stuff. Did he get zero attack points on that? Oh, you know what? Oh, we need to get his melee... Axe. Uh, yeah, I'll keep her back a bit. In fact, let's keep her all the way back. Because, yeah, she still needs healing. I think I'm just going to do the blaze, too. That sh Oh, yeah, that'll easily be enough. Oh, that passive MP recovery, too. Good stuff. the crits have all just dried up. There are no more crits to be found from anyone unless the enemy's on 6 HP or some bullshit. Okay, we are not charging in. We're taking the long way around and uh, yeah, looping around to the other side. Okay, who needs it? Probably Frank the most. Yeah. Man, it sucks that our only remaining dedicated healer can only heal one at a time. It would be really nice to have an actual proper priest in the party, someone who actually knows Aura. Because, yeah, having like a half healer kind of in the monk is just not cutting it. Now we got two flyers up in our grill now too. Would have been nice to have a competent archer also. I think those are the trades I would make. If I could, I would trade Ratchet for a competent archer and I would trade Irene for a real healer. Also, I didn't even think about this, but, uh, yeah, Hagane's Shuriken is three panels. That's why it's so much better than the old one. <laughs> old one was two panel range. This range, this one is three, which makes him kind of, kind of like a backup archer now. I think I'll just egress out after this. Oh, 
I guess it must split the damage for some spells. Unfortunately, this is actually bad for us because uh, we don't have aura anymore. Although, now that he's charged forward, I think we just go to town on him. Yeah, these Lancers are so tanky, it's not even worth our time to try uh, taking him down, I think. Oh, of course, he gets the lucky crit for the one shot. Okay, he doesn't quite get the one shot. Oh, and they all get their turns at once, too. Fan fucking tastic. They're too spread out to get a good Mascarin spell on them either. Okay, apparently they're just chilling. What the hell happened? He's doing less and less damage every time. Okay, he he, Obright I will put on the uh, on the lancers. Cause yeah, he does way more damage to these guys. Uh, Frank, actually I've got to take out this harpy to cut a path to the boss. Oh, I saw her, like, shift in there. I was terrified that she was gonna dodge that. Ah, uh, someone else can finish that one off. This guy's considered an axe man, so we can start on this guy. Yeah, basically, we aren't gonna bother with the Lancers unless we can kill them, or... Okay, here we go. Problem is, I don't like her in that spot. Because she has to get right up in here. Oh, you know what? It's actually really crowded here. Seriously? Okay, she's farther away than I thought. I think we'll open it up with a spark too here. Yeah, that's a reasonably good spark. And then we can try to open things up to get a good position for Blaze 4. There we go, and that takes out the Silver Knight. Oh, and we got a level 3 spark. Oh, if that, if that increases its range... That'll be so juicy. Oh, I wish I had my... I uh, wish I had my spark. Oh wait, actually I do. Uh, yeah, we can do level one spark. Or actually, you know what we want to do is we want to get our party all grouped together to disperse the damage from his magic spell. Watch this do the curse. Oh hey! We're getting really lucky with this curse nonsense. Beautiful. Oh, now he's got the Spark 3. If he even has enough MP to cast it. Oh, now we gotta decide who gets the healing here. I think it's actually gotta be Mascarin. Actually, Frank. Ooh, Sybil. Honestly, kind of everyone. But we're gonna make it Mascarin, because she's kind of the MVP right now. Oh, wow, she's used a lot of magic already. Or I guess that Spark 2 is, like, 15 MP, which is just about half of her magic right there. Uh, he won't go down to that. Oh, and also, this guy's got a weakness to uh, Spears, so yeah. We will do that. Oh, she's still friends with Symbios, too. She's going to get all kinds of bonus damage out of this. Some kind of new crazy crit, too? Will he survive this? Holy shit. What a bitch. Oh, what a weak-ass, punk-ass little bitch. This guy ain't nothing. Hell 
This might kill him. Boom, boom, boom! Literally go to hell. Photon blade, that sounds promising. Yeah, just rush him was the... <laughs> yeah, he's, he's <laughs> surprisingly not tougher than he looks. For fuck's sake, who's Algernon? <laughs> this happens in every cutscene. They just casually reference these characters who I can't remember who they are. Okay, in terms of abductions, the one guy we know who's been abducted is the Emperor. So maybe that's the name of the Emperor. Or in fact... Uh... Okay, Arant I remember. He is the... Uh... Arant was the Emperor's successor, the Emperor's son. Uh, so that would make sense, actually. He has him abducted to get him out of the way so that he can assume the throne or do whatever he wants with the Imperial Army. I don't know who Tristis is. I'm guessing, or I'm guessing that's some kind of... Uh, I have no idea what Tristis is. Is it a person? Is it an an army or a nation or some faction out there please just let him die what don't get back cut his fucking throat before the uh before the demon lady saves him i've never read flowers for algernon but i i know the story yeah, I know, I, I know the basic plot and what it's about. Actually, I read the, the short story. I think it was, it was a short story first, and then he uh, turned it into a full-length novel. I think I actually did read the short story. Grab the thing. The thing lying on the ground, grab it. Or is that... Is that a circlet or like a small mithril? I love how they're just, like, rotating around in panic. Are we... Why didn't they just give it this to us after the after the scene? Statue gem. Are we supposed to go all the way back to that wrecked statue from before? Or is this the statue? I'm just terrified that I'm going to have to do something ridiculously obtuse with this statue gem. Oh shit, it actually did exactly what I expected on the spot where I expected it to work. This is probably going to be a fight right away. Man, I can just see some poor kid, though, getting stuck there and not being able to figure out what to do with the statue gem. Has there been any other point in the game where you need to use an item at a particular spot to progress? I know for sure Shining Force 2 had one, because that was like the stupidest part of the entire game. Oh, it's the red-haired general lady. I was hoping we'd see her again. Or hear her again, rather, because her voice acting was great. I 
I'm trying to parse her sprite there. It looks like she's got like this long ass tongue and she's sticking it out at us. Or is she got like her elbow? Is she posing like this? Or is she holding it like an ice cream cone up to her mouth? Or a staff or something? I, I cannot parse what's going on with that. <laughs> Okay, looks like she's holding something in front of her mouth. Probably a magic staff. I thought we killed the Titan. Wow, this sounds epic. I wonder if we'll actually get to see any of all that. Okay, that clarifies all of my questions right there. I don't know, we'll never know, because we're stuck down here in the friggin' catacombs while well, there's all kinds of action going up. Uh, going down above ground. Is this actually the music for this fight? <laughs> oh, wow, this is a lot of dudes. Also, I see those thieves. Is he... Oh, my God, seriously? Is this the ruin here? Also, I think this is the third map of Chapter 5. So this isn't the final boss. In spite of the unique music. Are you kidding me? Is that... Is that where the ruin is for this map? Because that seems impossible to get to before he cleans it all out. Oh, there's one here, too. That's the idea, as we go for that. Okay, so this is the entrance we want to get to. Uh, but before any of that, uh, we're going to want to egress out so we can actually save and everything. We'll do this just for the, uh, for the XP right now. Oh, that thing has shit for range. Actually, let's, let's see the Lightning 3. Oh, it's red! And it comes out of the staff! Although, apparently, we're a little bit too, uh... Oh, oh that's no fun. Wait. Oh, yeah, that, I think we determined that he can't, uh... The curse can't prevent him from teleporting out. Man, what kind of what kind of stuff are they gonna give us in these ruins? Like two fights away from the end of the game. I can't even remember who went down in that last fight. I think just Dantaris and Grace. Was that it? Dantaris, Grace. I think that was it. Maybe Ratchet. Oh wow, we actually we actually did pretty good in that fight, all things considered. Oh, you know what I need to do? Uh, we got that photon sword. I want to check out how good that actually is, because if it's better than the uh, dark sword, then we'll we're, we'll definitely get rid of that uh, angel wing. It's actually not entirely worthless on him. Because I intend to use up all of his magic. Either way, we're definitely done with the Phoenix Sword. Oh, we still have the statue too, that's weird. Ooh, 
Ooh, that looks promising, although it doesn't have any other special features. And it has a weak-ass attack. There's got to there's be something special about this thing. Oh, right. Nothing's so bad. It's got it's got to have some crazy property that makes it worthwhile. Let's go to the shop and see what they think it's worth. Get the fuck out the way. There we go. Could they not have just installed a frickin' door between these two shops? Honestly. Whoops. Oh wow, okay, so apparently this thing is really valuable. I think that's even more than the Phoenix Sword is worth. Oh, actually, no, it isn't. I think I'm just gonna sell it. Yeah, if we want a regular sword for him, uh, we'll just... Uh... Yeah, just give him the Phoenix sword. Cool, so now we got a bunch of money. That I don't think we have any use for. I sure wish we could have found some small mithril on that last map. We're just one short of having uh, good accessories on everyone. Dantares is the only one who's uh, been left out. And he was the one who died on the last map. Oh, well, speaking of which, maybe movement on Grace wasn't the best idea after all. Because, yeah, have it, her having more defense would have actually saved her in the last fight. Although her having better positioning would have saved her too, so maybe we just work on that. Do we even have any Mithril left? Oh, cool. I just sold that sword for nothing. I mean, I sold it for money, but we have no use for money right now. Other than uh, Mithril items. You know, if you're cursed already, you can't get cursed again. <laughs> we could put this on, uh, on Symbios too. Except he's he's getting a lot of lot of mileage out of his defense ring, so I think we'll keep that. Oh, and we don't even have any uh, mithril left. Oh yeah, now the big question. Do we swap out Ratchet for Hagane? Or who would we put in? Honestly, I think having a backup mage would have been nice, but Noon's kind of a bit 
too far behind at this point to catch up with everyone. Yeah, level 3. I don't think so. If he knew Spark 2, maybe. Yeah, Murasame's magic I don't think is as good as Hagane's. Oh, Frank's still got a shitty accessory, too. Man, we gotta get some small mithril. Oh, anyways, I, I didn't save uh, last time we were in the church because I was messing around with the... Uh, with that photon sword. You know, I should go exploring on the uh, last little overworld. Or Actually, we can explore the mansion now, too. Uh, all the doors were blocked off last time, so we can actually go in here and rummage through stuff. Do I really care what these jerks have to say? Ooh, ramen sounds delicious. Um, I've never really had proper ramen. Like, I, I, I just, unless you're, unless it's just the instant stuff, which is fine, but it's not, you know, it's not amazing. <laughs> oh, hey, dude. Good to know. Why does this rando have a portrait? Am I supposed to be able to do something to bust him out of here? Oh, hey. Is there like a hidden passageway maybe? Okay, well, fine, whatever. Birdman can stay locked in there forever, for all I care. Would I even want another Birdman if we could get one? I don't, I don't know who I would take out for that. Probably Ratchet. Yeah, I, I, I don't honestly really cook at all. Like, what I do for meals is I throw... I've got a George Foreman grill. Oh, something we should not have seen there. It's a good thing we didn't see it then. Uh, yeah, I got a George Foreman grill, and I just buy whatever meats on sale at the grocery store every week, and then I put that on the grill for, like, five to eight minutes, and then eat it, and that's the extent of my cooking skills. Ah, oh, there's the good stuff. For a very, very, very loose definition of good stuff. Okay. I'm intrigued. What do we got? Interesting. Five crit, five counter. It's worse than the one we have. Gives you agility, but we don't really care about that. And I think the one she has has, like, five crit or counter anyways, so no, I don't think we take that. And as much as I like the idea of having a pretty, pretty wolf man, um, I think we just take this and dump it in the shop.
But yeah, as far as food goes, I guess I'm kind of the same way. It's more of a... Yeah, just something you've got to do. I, I prefer to spend as little time uh, preparing meals as possible. It just seems, just seems like a waste of time otherwise. Yeah, I can hardly imagine spending like an hour every day going to the store and grabbing ingredients and throwing stuff together in a pot or a pan or whatever and like actually putting effort in. I, I have as little... I have too little time to do everything I want to in a day as it is. Okay, so apparently there were a bunch of goodies that we missed out on in the mansion here. It's just that they're all... Oh, that's, uh, what's her name? Onesan. Onesan, it's Aniki, let me in. I don't... I don't know what he's talking about. Okay, so Tristus is a dude, apparently. I don't know what the truth is. The name Wilmer sounds familiar... Or Wilmer was the dude who uh, ambushed us earlier, I think. Oh, we got another floor still. Oh, we're on the watchtower. Honestly, a lot of people in this game have uh, glowing eyes. That's just kind of the style of the character sprites, it seems. Glowing eye, glowing red eyes is actually not that notable of a thing. Uh, is this seriously all that's in here? Um, I didn't really explore the courtyard either, I guess. Actually, I probably did. Oh, you know what? I bet you there's some bullshit. Maybe, oh, maybe there's another ninja inside one of these pillars. I guess that means we've got to check them all, because that's what the game has kind of encouraged us to do at this point. You never know when there might be some random bullshit hiding inside some other random bullshit. Okay, looks like the pillars are clear. Now I'm lost. Uh, okay, that's where we came in. Uh, this is where we're going. Would a ninja disguise himself as a tree? You know what? I think we're good on ninjas right now. Even if there is a ninja out there somewhere. We've reached our ninja quota. <laughs> our ninja affirmative action quota for the Shining Force. I don't think we need to go looking for any more. Oh, they don't, they're not even going to come up with any excuse for us to not wander off in this direction now. It's just, come on, you know how it works at this stage in the game. Just turn back. <laughs> oh, that's so cute how he slows down going over the mountains. I didn't really... Oh. Oh, do I have to use the statue gem again? I assumed that the thing would be open still from last time. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
<laughs> I put the gem in the in the vault because I thought we were done with it. Okay, we gotta go back. Actually, didn't Final Fantasy XII have some kind of uh, stupid, s obscure system for hiding its ultimate weapons? Okay, how the hell do we get in here? I forgot about that mysterious room, and now we can explore, so how... Okay, so it's gotta be from here somewhere. Oh, well, you know what? This, this is it right here. Oh, I fucked it up! Oh, that's dirty. Come on, just swing your fucking sword! Okay, what we were supposed to do, I'm assuming, is destroy that barrel during combat. Because, yeah, that's the room with the treasure chest that we saw inside. If I had destroyed this barrel during combat, I could get at that door. But since Symbios is, like, physically incapable of lifting his sword when there aren't enemies around, uh, yeah, we can't actually get in there. That's fucking dumb. I bet you it's some crazy endgame sword. Uh, we're going the wrong way. Or, that sm or maybe that small mithril that we're kind of looking for right now. I have not actually looked at that, uh... Oh, we got three treasures in there. But yeah, unlike the last couple streams, I actually haven't looked back at that walkthrough since the last stream, so I don't actually know, like, where the hidden stuff is in this town, or what the hidden stuff is. Wait, what? Oh yeah, I want to take. But who wants to take? Yeah, Hayward kind of sucks, so I think... He's not getting any kills, not getting any item drops, so we might as well give him the statue. Uh, we got some garbage to sell as well. Although, what for? There's nothing we want to buy anymore. Unless there is some other endgame shop up ahead. Eh, we gotta sell stuff just to get rid of inventory space. Yeah, I've never been a walkthrough guy. Or, that's not true. When I was a, a much younger... Like, I'd say from, like, 9 to 12 years old, I was a heavy walkthrough user. But, uh, yeah, I kind of grew out of that and prefer playing through and figuring stuff out on my own now. Yeah, I don't think we really want this. Now I'm just trying to think who else needs a, uh, a mithril item, because we do have that large mithril. Obrite's doing good. Hayward. I guess we could try to get Hayward an upgrade. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to try to save Scum an upgrade for Hayward. Oh, I guess the other option would be a mithril dagger for Symbios. Oh, except he can't equip it anyways, because he's cursed. Yeah, just dump this, uh, dump this mithril out of my inventory, if nothing else. I got all of this money and mithril and no use for it. Might as well get rid of it. And yeah, just to save time, uh, we're going to save state here. Doesn't change anything. We could have just, uh, we could have just gone to the cathedral and done it that way. 
but uh, I'm feeling lazy at this point. Actually, if we got a like a super good sword for Symbios, we wouldn't need to give him the cursed sword. But nah. Hayward needs the most help. Honestly, I don't if he gets the same thing, I don't know that I'll even bother resetting. Oh shit! He got a new one! He gets one point of attack. That's amazing. Okay, that's fine. I guess we don't uh, we don't reset anyways. Um, what does he actually? Oh right, uh, right. I said let's give him the statue gem because he's never gonna get an item ever again. Um, I guess Eldar doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh, she can have a full inventory. It only has a special attack. It is a shell. This just seems weird. Magnum Shell is critical 10. Meteor Shot is just special attack. I have no idea which one's better. Go for the plus one damage, because he doesn't do enough damage. I'll keep the old one, actually. Just because I, I suspect that critical 10 is actually better. But it's not even with it equipped, he never got criticals, so... But if I'm gonna if I'm gonna save scum the crap out of mithril items, I'm gonna I might as well just look up what you can get at that point. Like I'm just wasting my time even more if I just save scum without knowing what I'm save scumming towards. So yeah, if I did do it that way, I would do it with a guide in hand, and uh, that just wastes even more time if I'm constantly referencing a guide. Let's just do this fight. This game's not difficult enough that we really need to eke out every advantage or anything like that. Don't make me watch the scene again. Oh, hey. Yeah, I complained about it earlier, but it seems like it was just that one fight that forces you to rewatch the cutscene. And yeah, none of the other ones have done it since. Okay, let's check out their movement. A Cerberus, really, that's an old enemy. We've. These are all old enemies. Lizardmen, Cerberus, we should have no trouble against these guys. Uh, we got... Okay, we got her again. Oh, she's still got that underwear, too. The thing is, yeah, as, as good, as nice as it is to have the improved item descriptions, a lot of the items just say special attack, and you don't know what that is specifically until you try it out and use it. And I think it's... the special attack is the, the crit skill that you get. Which only shows up like once... like one in ten times, it seems. Oh, hey, she's got some health. So Minotaur is new... The thief, the thief is even weaker than the last thief that we saw. I could have sworn the last one had 80 HP. Anyways, uh, let's just do this fight. Yeah, Cerberuses and Lizardmen. This looks like... And these masked guys, too. Minotaur is the only new enemy. It's kind of tough. 
It's actually really tough. 110 HP, 49 defense, 60... That is actually crazy. Uh, but these other guys are really weak, so... I don't think we'll have too much trouble until we get to the bosses. I think we'll just keep charging up until that uh, Hellhound rushes forward. And then we'll split the party. Need to rush for that doorway so we can intercept that thief. Ah, uh, that would be really hilarious. I kind of hope that happens. Here they go. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected. These are old dogs. Fuck's sake, I don't care, I'm going for it. Of course, every Cerberus gets a turn other than the one that I wanted to go first. And of course he gets the fucking fire breath. Not strong enough to two-shot us though, so that's fine. This is a lot of enemies. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Axes are strong against lances, but he still sucks. Okay, this is going to be tricky. Is that all that's in there? Um, yeah, we need to punch through these guys kind of quickly. So I think I am going to have her help out a bit. Uh, Symbios can't actually get... Uh, yeah, I can't actually go inside the ruins, so he might as well charge forward this way. Hey, there it is. There it is. That's the old Symbios we know and love. What? I, I, I skipped past the text there. What the fuck just happened? Okay, whatever. Uh, we took a bunch of damage for no reason. Was that based on because of the curse? Okay. Oh, wow. I can't believe he survived that. I've been doing a really bad job of uh, spreading out the XP lately. We should try to... Pay attention to who gets the kills here. Hagenai is good. Irene needs some help. Hayward technically doesn't need help, but he actually does because he sucks. Yeah, we'll get we'll get Bird Bird can they get to help out? Yeah, Irene would be a good one to get this kill. Uh, we're probably gonna... Actually, who needs healing again? I actually think it's just Dantares, so yeah. We'll do it like this. Oh wow, she actually does pretty good damage. Not that it matters, because we need healing so often that we mostly need her to heal every turn, but... Uh... Oh, you know what? Uh, that's right, we need to, to rush for the frickin' door. Yeah, I think I should not have... Uh... What? Oh, the fucking shuriken! I forgot to swap it out. Uh, so that's kind of bad. Uh, Lizard Man's probably gonna get another turn right away. Maybe not. Maybe not. 
This should kill him. If it doesn't... Okay. Okay. Easily kills him, too. Actually, Symbios needs it more for some reason. Even though he actually did, he didn't actually get hit. Oh God! Frank took a hit. Uh, he's too far behind to be able to pile into the ruins. Plus, this dog is, yeah, kind of right up in our face here. So yeah, we got to take him out. These guys are too weak to even be worth XP. Oh, that which means I should have gotten uh, Ratchet the kill. They've got a lot of axe guys between the uh, Minotaurs and the lizard men. Yeah, I'm gonna dump her in the ruins. Like, I'm scared now. He should be safe running up here, but on the other hand, uh... What if he explodes again? Oh, also, that's a mage. Uh, yeah, let's not run him up there. Two... So that's unsafe, but this should be safe. I'll pull him one back, though. Okay, Dantares needs to go in here, although he also needs healings, but whatever. There's not that there's not that many dudes inside the ruins, so I think Irene will go in as our primary healer there. Hagane's got good movement, so we'll send him in too. Actually, Bird Knight should probably get in there. Eh. I doubt that she's actually going to make it on time. But we'll see what happens. Ah, uh, that's not good. Frank and... Okay, if Irene can get in there next turn... Yeah, she's never gonna catch up to Dan Terry's, so... We'll heal him now. This is a little bit risky. Man, I wanted to get a healer inside the ruins with the rest of the team, but I don't think that's going to happen now. Honestly, this first part of this battle seems like just a waste of time. Like Cerberus is at this point in the game, really? Let's double check what magic this guy actually has. Okay, just blaze. I'm just gonna park him right here to keep him from uh, moving up on Symbios. Hopefully, Ratchet can finish this. Oh, this is gonna be close. Okay, no, it's not. He's got this. Nine experience points, even for... He's level 10, and he still only gets nine experience points for the kill there. You know what would be really helpful that I su I'm surprised this game doesn't have? The, the enemies don't have levels. 
Like, ever. There's no indication whatsoever of, uh, like, what approximate level an enemy is in terms of their strength. Or Yeah, I think we do send Masquerin in here. I think we sent everyone who can go in there. In there. And then that'll be good. Symbios, I think we just keep him back until, uh... Until his illusion wears off. Yeah, Irene's our main healer here. Uh, LE percent is land effect. It's a really common thing in uh, strategy RPGs. It's basically a defensive bonus based on the terrain type that you're on. Uh, it's, in fact, Fire Emblem has it, and I think just about every other strategy RPG does as well. Final Fantasy Tactics didn't, I don't think. Vandal Hearts does. Now, Eldar here doesn't get a land effect because uh, she's a flying unit. Flying units ignore all land effect bonuses for all spaces. Which, again, is actually the same way it worked in uh, Fire Emblem. Yeah, it, yeah, land effect is kind of a weird name for it, I will admit. Um, I, I do actually plan to do uh, Fire Emblem reasonably soon. I'm on kind of a tactical RPG kick lately. So yeah, I, I suspect I'll do a uh, Fire Emblem playthrough at some point this year. Whoa! Obright's actually kind of awesome now. Ooh, Frank, worry about you, man. We're not even, we're not really in a big hurry to kill that lizard man. I think we're just gonna have him wait for now. No fire breath. No fire breath. Fucking goddammit. Okay, so now we got two... He's he's probably going to die now. That Minotaur is going to kill him. I don't know. He's got pretty good physical defense. And also, the Minotaur is really stupid. So that helps, too. I am extremely annoyed at how... We're just barely not killing these enemies. Okay, I should actually plan out what we're doing on this map now. Okay, so we'll be going for this one. And that one. And then go all the way to the exit? What's his path here? Does he go for this one? This one kind of looks different from the other chest, actually. Maybe we can open it? Okay, you go this way, and I think I'm going to have Mascarin AoE these barrels. She's going to be our barrel blaster. This is slightly risky. Swords beat axes, right? Yeah. Which means we should be fine. Against the Minotaur. Or you know what? Our archer should be able to finish off that lizard man. That sucks. Oh, right. He's illusioned. I shouldn't have even bothered bringing him up there. I'm going to keep her back. Yeah, I think the mage is actually going to get a turn right away. So I do not want my guys grouped up. Oh no, that's right, it was Obright. Oh shit. Oh, I can't get up there to heal him anyways. Um, I think he might go down. Hmm. 
Nope, Eldar has got a chance to save it here. 14 damage, that should be easy. Oh wow, yeah. Super easy. That is actually glorious that that just happened. We were in a lot of trouble. Before Eldar pulled our bacon out of the fire there. Do we just get one XP from everything forever now? Are we just locked in to our power level till the end of the game? I guess we'll see what the Minotaurs give us when they eventually decide to do something. Oh, hey, that's lucky. I thought he was going to try and kill Obright there. Oh, here he comes. We should be fine. Yeah, he's... Actually, considering how tanky Frank is, that is a bit spooky. Yeah, 41. So anyone with 40 is taking 20. Most of our guys have 40. We keep got to keep them away from the... Uh, the archer guys. Or fr from, like, our healers and magic people, but... Hmm. Yeah, the Cerberus is actually a nuisance with the Firebird. Oh, and he actually gets XP for hitting it, so... Oh, that's not great. Uh, let's switch over to the, uh, uh, the melee axe, actually. Then he can kind of just start slowly healing himself. Oh, we haven't seen this one yet. Oh, yes, we have. Okay, here we go. Actually, I know I know exactly what to do about this. This is probably a waste of MP, but on the other hand, Oh wait, is this not going to hit them? They're not flashing or anything. This would really suck if it didn't hit all the barrels. Whatever. Um, I have no idea what everyone's uh, weapon proficiency levels are. Oh god, we gotta wait for the barrels to fall over for each of these. You know what? Uh, this is a perfect opportunity to go uh, make some tea. You guys enjoy the uh, yeah the light show here. That actually uh, didn't uh, take as long as I thought it would. Um, oh yeah, we probably got a bunch of items out of that. That was maybe not a good idea. Uh, we'll drop the fairy powder. Oh, that's all we got? Okay. I swear to God, if this tells me I can't open it. Oh yay, another one of these. We can get another shitty cursed weapon.
you know. This is a pretty easy ruin, actually. This is nowhere near as complicated as the last one. We just got some harpies and one treasure chest. Yeah, I think we can actually pull her out. Or will it put her closer if we go this way? Or no, the ruin's just going to blow up and send us to the entrance anyway, so yeah. We wasted like two turns putting her in there, but uh, yeah. No. Oh yeah, he's illusioned anyways. No, that's a waste. There she goes. Um, Obright needs it too, though, and I think we actually give it to him first, because the, uh, the Minotaur there is actually in range to get him. Uh, looks like the kettle's boiling. This is such weird music for, like, the big, epic final encounter with the... This is actually the first time, I think, we've got to fight uh, one of the Bolzome cult leaders. Oh, no, that's right, we fought the, uh... Right, the Wendigo casting dude from uh, the previous chapter. I forgot about him. Twister! Man, and that's with the crit? Oof. These minotaurs might not be that easy to get through. Oh, Frank! Frank, please! Okay, he survived, but, uh... I think that the minotaur goes before our healer. Oh no, Frank's fine. In fact, uh, he can even open up on this, uh... Okay, does the Minotaur have a ranged attack? He doesn't have a ranged, like, throwing axe, right? Doesn't look like it. Even the mages only give one XP. You know what? Uh... I'm going to try to get the kill to Ratchet. Whoa. Oh, here we go. Finish him! Eh, I guess that's fine. These Minotaurs are so much... It's like they skipped a tier of enemy. It's like they took us back, like, three stages to get pull these Minotaur... Or these, uh... These Hellhounds out of storage and these mages who we haven't seen for, like, two or three maps. But then they advanced us forward onto these Minotaurs. So there's, like, a massive disparity in power between the weakest enemies on this map and the strongest ones. I actually don't know. Maybe he... Yeah, so he's gonna get 16 XP. I think he might have gotten more from hitting the Minotaur. Like, not even killing it, just hitting it. What do we got? Mitra Ankh. Oh, that's a uh, staff, isn't it? Uh, you know what? She's too far back to do anything useful. I'm gonna pull her out also. Ooh, this is gonna be close. I'll have Sybil go up behind just in case he tries some sneaky business, and I'll have Hagane. Fuck, I did it again! <sighs> this is re. It's. Ugh. Ugh.
Like, I appreciate the snappiness of the menus. You know, it's like you, you hit it with, and if there's an enemy in range, it'll target it. And if it, there isn't an enemy in range, then you go to hold. But when you get the wrong weapon equipped, it's, yeah, really obnoxious. No, I can't afford to rush him forward like that. Oh, now Irene gets her turn. Oh, man. It's gotta be Frank. Oh, he took a lot of damage, so it's gotta be the heal three. Which is expensive. She is... Fuck me, she's almost out of magic. Yeah, having her as the main healer was a big mistake. Should have put Grace with this team in the first place. Christ, even the heal three is not good enough. Kill him! Hey. This should be good for a level up, right? Hey. That was a shitty level up. I didn't swap her out of the party, but she's in the uh, the ruins team. So she's not with us. There we go. That's the symbiose we, we remember. Taking, there, there she is. Yeah, I put her in the ruins is what I was talking about. It should have been Irene in the ruins and Grace with the, with the main team. Would have been the smart way to do it. Um, once again, I'm going to try to get the kill to, uh, to Ratchet. Oops. Oh, fuck. Frank could go down if he, they get two fire breaths. Jesus. Stupid. Oh, hey. I'm actually getting lucky. He's been getting a lot of these crits lately. And still no level up. He's got like three kills on this map and still no level up. Actually, I need to be cautious of the Harpy, because if she puts Illusion on me, then that's bad. Oh, you know what? I, I bet you the real treasure is in that barrel up there. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get him... Just one panel closer to that barrel. So we're gonna have him finish his turn up here. Prepare to die. Oh, he's just gonna one-shot kill him anyways, isn't he? Oh no, we're fine. Uh might as well drop the map. Nah, the map is worth money. And she's not going to make it to the exit by the time the ruins explode, so we'll just have her chuck a spear at this thing for the XP. I guess the real treasure in this ruins is actually the dark matter and the large mithril. Or I don't know, I guess we'll see how good this Ankh is. Uh, let's compare speed... Seven movement. Oh, you know what? That's a retranslation thing. I'm pretty sure that movement was called speed uh, before we applied the translation patch. Anyways, uh, she's six. Whoops. Uh, that was dumb. I pressed the wrong button there. I just wanted to check his movement. Because I think he has seven to the harpy's six. We could have run away there if I hadn't fucked that up. Uh, he could actually die. Now that I've messed that up. Okay, no. Harpies are garbage. We're fine. 
Man, that's the annoying thing about weak, outdated enemies, is they're worth no XP, but they're still kind of a nuisance. Because, uh... If they get those special attacks, it's just guaranteed damage. Yeah, Hagane has missed out on, like, four use otherwise potentially useful turns this this map. Uh, why did I put Symbios here? Now he can get breathed on. Oh, and now Frank needs it too. Fuck's sake. Yeah, Aura would be brilliant here. It's gotta be Frank, because he's gonna die in one hit otherwise. Like, yeah, this is just ridiculous that we're getting z one XP for killing these Hellhounds, and they're still doing 25 damage to us. That is not fair. It's not right. Oh, yeah, technically she can eventually... She can move up on us uh, anytime she wants. This was a dumb move. I should have thought about that harder. He can still die if the other one moves up. Wow, I did all kinds of dumb moves here. It's lucky we're lucky that uh, Hayward finished him off there. Symbios and Irene were both blocking off the uh, spaces where we'd need to have our two panel guys, our two panel ranged guys, finish them off. Okay, all the, those three have all gone, so yeah, we should be good. Oh fuck you, Ratchet. Useless, slow-moving bastard. Well, she's got that illusion status, but she might as well finish this one. Oh yeah, she can kill him too. Get ready. Crit means sure hit, right? Right. Okay, so it's not entirely worthless to try attacking with your guys who are illusioned. Maybe I should just run away with Hagane. Okay, let's do the thing. Okay, he does have seven movements, so we can just run. Yeah, I want that barrel, so we won't have him kill the thief. And we'll pretty much just have to wait a few rounds to consolidate our forces. Uh, Symbios needs healing, so we'll keep him back. Man, too many people need healing. Symbios. Yeah, it's got to be Symbios now, though, because our uh, Birdman is not in position to do anything right now, whereas once Symbios gets healed, he can move up right away. Actually, the upside of all this is, uh... He's gonna die, isn't he? Ratchet's about to get one shot. I'm going to kill you. Nope, no you did not. Uh, you know what? All of these guys are missing just a little bit of HP. Actually, that's not true. No, it's gotta be Elder, I think. With a small heal, even. Man, that Irene's got to rescue Ratchet after all this. Okay, let's see what this does. Oh, hey, this is a new one. 
<laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit, Hayward, where was this power all this time? Okay, that helps. Uh, do we rush her or do we go for Cerberus? Oh, you know what? Uh, hmm. No, there's not really any protecting Ratchet here. Oh yeah, that's right, we did swap out Hayward's weapon, didn't we? Man, this maybe gets Frank killed. I think these guys are about to get turns right away, too. I mean, someone's gonna die if they kill Frank. That means they don't kill Ratchet. Oh, and also maybe Frank just fucking kills him? No, not even close. See, look at that. Even with the crit, we can't... It takes two shots to take out the Cerberus. They kill us in two shots. If they get lucky crits, which they have, like, two-thirds of the time. Look at this shit. Ridiculous. 